Greetings friend, I will show you how to solve this puzzle, Diamond Setting by Philip Newman by using Set Equivalence Theory. Click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, what you want to do is look for like, my, like digits that are going on rows and columns that we can clump together. If you'll notice, 1, 4, 6, 8, 9, they seem to be uh, situated on similar rows. So if you look at rows 2, 4, 6, and 8, You'll notice they contain the only the digits 1, 4, 6, 8, 9. And then we also want to kind of cover down on the columns with the remaining digits. And you're always looking for like 3 to 5 of the same type digits in one color. And then, you know, the other ones, 3 to 5 in the other color. And you can have one digit that's maybe not represented. And I'll show you, I'll show you how to handle that in some of my previous videos. So let's look what's remaining. 2, 3, 5, and 7. So if we go down here in columns uh, 2, columns 4, column 6, and column 8. But you'll notice, you know, the idea with set is we're trying, one, we're going to eliminate any crossover cells because we already know that whatever digits in those crossover cells is going to be the same whether it's an orange or uh, purple, right? We don't care about those; those are fine. Because set saying you know it's equivalent amount of digits one through nine in these oranges and these purples. Now, what's also telling us is since these are you're looking for you know like I said five, you know the one four six eight nine five different digits in the orange, they got to be somewhere here in the purple. That's the whole thing about set. So let's count how many given orange we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And how many blank purple do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's an even amount, uh, the exact amount, and there's no you know repeats of the purples and the orange. So we can apply set. Basically, these 13 have to be the digits 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. We don't know exactly where, but this will allow us to significantly cut down on the possibilities in each of these cells. And I'll clean out the red ones uh, later. Let's look now at the purple. Given purples, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And how many blank orange do we have? Guess I bet it is the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this applies very well for set, right? There's no wiggle room. You're using all nine digits in some form or fashion. So this has to be, these have to be the digits two, three, five, and seven. We just don't know exactly where in the cell. And so now I'm going to remove these uh, digits. You know, like there can't be any six in there, so the six shows up red. Can't be ones in there. Fill up. Newman created this puzzle computer generated so it's not like he he made it as a you know handmade classic but he did it to kind of show off set he talks about it in the Sudoku discussion with ranks but he didn't completely solve the puzzle that's what I wanted to do here is kind of get to the rest of the solving uh, if you try this normally and maybe you did it is a beast it is super extreme requires multiple very hard techniques to solve but with set I'm about to show you that it is Going to be pretty easy but first i want to share something else with you i want to take a moment to tell you about my new buy me a coffee page help support this channel you buy me a coffee it's about five dollars uh, go to the, the link in the description below and it can help me create more resources for this channel i'm looking in the future to consider adding more puzzles more videos i might even do a subscription-based service special to just smart hobby uh, patrons to the buy me a coffee list and if I can get $25 donations I will start offering you personalized solving videos I'll make a video for you you give me a puzzle and I'll make it for you thank you I really appreciate all of you or your support over this time in my first year and I want to continue offering that support and give you more resources so please consider the buy me a coffee now let's get back to the puzzle okay we're back 
Um, now we're going to take advantage of set to start solving this puzzle. So first thing you want to look at is look at row 9. You'll notice the digits 1, 4, 6, and 9 are limited to the 4 purple. So that's a naked quad. And so then we know that the digits 2, 3, 5, and 7 have to be, and get rid of that because there's a 2 right there, in the other 4 cells. So that's 3, 5, 7. Uh, this is going to be 2, 3, 5. And this is going to be a 2, 3, 5. Okay, like, ah, whoopity. So what? Other thing you notice, maybe, is that the 1's coming down in columns 1 and 3 and row 8, you can solve that for a 1. Nice. And now you'll maybe also notice that the 9's are limited to these two spots here, so you can actually get rid of that 9, and then the 9's have to be one of these two spots. But we can uh, go even further than that. So now what you see here, 3, 5, 7. So this is a naked triple, 3, 5, 7. And we have a 1, 2, 4. So then we know that this has to be 6, 8, 9 in these three cells. Well, there's an 8 and 9 right there, so we can solve this for 6. And since there's an 8 right here, we can solve that for a 9 and that for an 8. And so already we're starting to place some digits into this puzzle. Great. Now, where's the next spot we want to look? How about we look across here and see what else we can get. So you'll notice there's a 4, 6, 9 now, naked triple here. So that leaves us with a 2, 3, 7 in these three spots. Well, you see a 2 and a 7 there, so this has to be a 3. You see a 2 here, so that has to be a 7, and that has to be a 2. Okay, and we just kind of march away across. There's only a 3 and 5 remaining here. I see a 3 right there, so that's a 5, that's a 3. So now we have a 5, 7 naked pair. 2, 3, naked pair. So this is a 2, 3, naked pair. What's left in here? It's going to be a 1, 4, 6. So if we look right here, you can see now this has to be a 1, 4, 6, naked pair. There's a, there's a 4 and a 6, so that has to be a 1. We can solve that for a 1. There's a 6. So now this is a 4. Uh, we can solve that for a 4. We can solve that for a 6. And now we have a 4, 9, naked pair down here. We actually solve that for a 6. And so we've made quite a bit of solving already in this grid. Nice. But we're not done yet. How about we look right here at this cell? What can this cell be? Uh, it can't be a 1. It can be a 2. Uh, it can't be a 3, 4, 5, 6. It can be a 7. It can't be an 8 or 9. So now look at this. We have now I have a 2, 7 naked pair right here in block 4. And so what are the 3? It has to be a you know, naked triple. So what are we missing? We're missing a 3. We're missing... Uh, a 3, 4, and a 9. So there's your 4. So that's a 3, 9. This would be a 4, 9. And then this is going to be your 3, 4. Right? Because you can see right there. But if you notice, 3, 4, 3, 9, 4, 8, 9, 4, 8, 9. So now the digits 3, 4, 8, 9 are limited to those 4 cells. So then this would be the only remaining digit. That, so that has to be a 7. And so now we've already solved a 7 up there. So we're... Again, making a tremendous amount of progress here. This is great. But we're not done. So check out this 7 here. So this 7 comes across, and you look at the effect it has on block 2. The 7s have to be a pointing pair right here, right? And I'll show that, because um, I, I don't want to show just the 7s. I'm not doing Snyder. I want to have complete marks in the grid. I don't want to mess things up. So imagine that's a pointing pair. It means neither one of these can be a 7. So what's the significance of that? Well, we just created a pointing pair of 2, 5, or a naked pair of 2 and 5. And so if a 5's here, now the 5's limited in these two spots there, well, where's again the 5 be up here? It has to be right there. So now that's a 5. Great. And so now what do we create? A 2, 3, and a 2, 3 naked pair. So then this has to be an 8, 9, and this has to be an 8, 9. And so we are moving right along in this puzzle uh, very quickly. So why don't we finish the grid right here where we're at it. So these two fives now a naked pair. You got a one, three, four, and an eight. So we're looking for six, seven, nine. So I, I will mark the six, seven, nine, the six, seven, nine, and uh, six, seven, nine. And now you're like, well, Tim, really, that didn't really do much for us. Why did you even mark that? Well, I'll show you that in just a second here. Okay. Uh, 
One thing I forgot to mention, remember this is a point pair of seven, so I have to mark that. But let's look at the five here, right? We got the five cutting across row five and the five coming up column eight. So where can a five be in block six? It can only be right there. Well, that's a five, that's a two, that's a five. And now we've made significant progress again with this puzzle. So five, 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 looking nice there. So let's check out this grid right here. So what can this be? Uh, it can be a one, can't be a two, three, four, five, six, seven, or an eight. So that, it has to be a one, naked single. Four, eight, nine, uh, naked triple up here, four, eight, nine. So the only thing left is a two. And so now you would have a seven, eight left in here, but you can see there's an eight right there. So that's a seven. And this is an eight. And since that's an eight and a seven, that has to be a two. That's a three, that's a two, that's a three, that's a two. Uh, and then we can mark this for a seven, five, seven. So those are all naked singles that we're able to uh, solve just by finding that five. Isn't that nice? So why don't we finish up here in column seven, what are the two cells remaining? Looking for a three and a seven. And you got a three right there. So this has to be your three and that has to be your seven. And now you got a six, nine, six, nine. So now this has to be a seven. Okay. And what's remaining here, we're looking for a one and a five. I uh, can't actually mark that yet. So we'll put the one and the five right there. No biggie. We're still making great progress with this puzzle. Eight, nine, eight, nine, six, nine, six, nine. And so let's look up column three now. What are we missing? We're missing a five and a six. So I'll put those there, five, six, five, six. And what are we missing now in this column, column one? We are missing a two, four, nine. Well, there's two, so now this has to be a four, nine. And so the only spot left for a two is gonna be right up there. And you probably notice now, four, nine, four, nine, two, two, and a two. And now we have a four eight nine naked triple coming across row three, right? Four eight nine is in these three spots, so that can't be a nine anymore. That has to be your six. So there's your five, there's your six, there's a one, and there's a five. And like I told you, Philip created this puzzle specifically to uh, apply set to a very hard puzzle. You know, this is a nine, this is a four, this is a one, and a six that can't be solved by logical means very easily. And you see how this kind of falls apart. Very similar to the one I did previously by Jovial, uh, Classic Sudoku number four, same idea. You can see now you have an eight, nine, eight, nine, that has to be a one. And so I'll put a link to that right here in case you haven't checked that one out. It's a great solve. Same thing, much harder to solve if you try to do you know, traditional methods. And so that's why I love this application of set here. You see there's a three right there. So this has to be a three and this has to be your eight. And so that makes this a nine, that's an eight. This is a four, this is a nine. This is an eight, this is a four. These are all naked singles. And we're down to just two more cells. Well, to fill in right here and then these two down here. So I'll get rid of all that coloring. And so what's left? I just filled in the four in column six. So this has to be your four and this has to be your seven. Check out these other videos for my channel so you can do even more solving Thank you, Philip Newman, for letting me feature your puzzles on this channel. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. Help support me so I can give you more value in the near future. Thank you so much for watching.